Well, I'm, my, my job is music supervisor and to mix the music. So my role in this has kind of been, I suppose, a guidance in a way with Peter. You know, I have a, a sort of a backstory to Peter, so I worked on before, and he obviously hadn't. And, and even though he has his own view on things, which, 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 is, which is brilliant, I guess my guys go, this is, you know, concentrate, which concentrate this, or this, these are great takes, or whatever. Yeah, I think, funny enough, I think this film comes at a, an interesting time in society, because I, I guess we're now used to watching the Kardashians and Love Island and all these kind of things, and they're, we're used to having a, 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 like a, you know, a fly on the wall style thing, and this is what this is. This is a snapshot of the Beatles working, and you'll never, no one will ever see this again. You know, and it's even for me, and having worked on some Beatles material, it's strange even for me to see the way they work together, the way they react, and you kind of learn so much from them. No, I mean, it's obviously not the end of the band because they went and made Abbey Road straight afterwards. And it's funny, Let It Be sort of sounds more like a breakup album than Abbey Road. The idea that Abbey Road being a breakup album doesn't really sit well with us, but that's essentially what it was. I think. Everyone looks at this cataclysmic event that broke up the Beatles, the meteorite that killed the dinosaurs, all this sort of stuff. And it just simply isn't there. It's just, and you can see them documentary, you can see that they are not becoming tired of each other, but just going, you know, we've done this for a long time. Let's, and then they went to go, let's make one final album, which was Abbey Road, and let it be was scrapped. But what this is is a snapshot of that, that period of time, and it's really, really fascinating. There's a lot of love, and the other thing that the other thing I discovered is how much they rely on each other. You know, they, you know, there's the four of them, and they won't. The reason why they play on the rooftop is that's the only thing they could decide on, because not because one person could say, "This is what we're doing," because they all had to agree. And even that, the day before George is there, going, "I'm not sure why we even want to go up there." You know, but I think that I think that it's it's there's huge friendship, and I think. That's what's misinterpreted, is that you can't function, you can't sing two of us as a band, or John and Paul as either of us, if they hate each other, they didn't. I think because the, because the film, the previous film, and the, the, the record came, came, came about at this time where they were getting divorced, they were going to this court case, I think people were scared of what was in the, in the, on the tapes, in the, in the trenches. And pulling them out, I think, I mean, for Paul and Ringo, and even for me watching my dad, it's kind of beautiful in a way, seeing that actually they're just normal people doing extraordinary things. Yeah, I think actually, I think it has to be the rooftop concert, even though it's really well known, because it's so, they're so good. That and seeing my old man, I mean, you know, I showed my daughter, but is that you? I was like, no, that's, 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 that's your grandfather. And I suddenly realized, wait a second. No, it's, 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 you know, it's, you know, my dad was working on this project on and off, when I was being conceived. So that's an interesting thing for me. I was born in October, it was done in January. So I think about that as well a lot. So there you are. When does he have a smile on his face?